an integrated library system, also known as a library management system, is an enterprise resource planning system for a library, used to track items owned, orders made, bills paid, and patrons who have borrowed. An ILS usually comprises a relational database, software to interact with that database, and two graphical user interfaces. Most ILSs separate software functions into discrete programs called modules, each of them integrated with a unified interface. Examples of modules might include acquisitions, cataloging, circulation, serials, the OPAC. Each patron and item has a unique ID in the database that allows the ILS to track its activity. Larger libraries use an ILS to order and acquire, receive an invoice, catalog, circulate, track and shelve material. Smaller libraries, such as those in private homes and non-profit organizations, often forgo the expense and maintenance required to run an ILS, and instead use a library computer system. History Pre-computerization Prior to computerization, library tasks were performed manually and independently from one another. Selectors ordered materials with ordering slips, catalogers manually Manually catalogued items and indexed them with the card catalog system. Fines were collected by local bailiffs and uses signed books out manually, indicating the name on cue cards which were then kept at the circulation desk. Early mechanization came in 1936, when the University of Texas began using a punch card system to manage library circulation. While the punch card system allowed for more efficient tracking of loans, library services were far from being integrated, and no other library task was affected by this change. 1960s, the influence of computer technologies. The next big innovation came with the advent of Mark standards in the 1960s, which coincided with the growth of computer technologies. Library automation was born. For this point onwards, libraries began experimenting with computers, and, starting in the late 1960s and continuing into the 1970s, bibliographic services utilizing new online technology and the shared mark vocabulary entered the market. These included OCLC, Research Libraries Group and the Washington Library Network. 1970s-1980s, the early integrated library system the 1970s can be characterized by improvements in computer storage, as well as in telecommunications. As a result of these advances, turnkey systems on microcomputers, known more commonly as integrated library systems, finally appeared. These systems included necessary hardware and software which allowed the connection of major circulation tasks, including circulation control and overdue notices. As the technology developed, other library tasks could be accomplished through ILS as well, including acquisition, cataloging, reservation of titles, and monitoring of serials. 1990s 2000s The growth of the Internet, with the EU evolution of the Internet throughout the 1990s and into the 2000s. ILSs began allowing users to more actively engage with the libraries through OPACs and online web-based portals. Users could log into the library accounts to reserve or renew books, as well as authenticate themselves for access to library-subscribed online databases. Inevitably, during this time the ILS market grew exponentially. By 2002, the ILS industry averaged sales of approximately $500 million annually, compared to just $50 million in 1982. Mid-2000s present, increasing costs and customer dissatisfaction. By the mid to late 2000s, ILS vendors had increased not only the number of services offered but also the prices, leading to some dissatisfaction among many smaller libraries. 
At the same time, open source ILS was in its early stages of testing. Some libraries began turning to such open source ILSs as Coa and Evergreen. Common reasons noted were to avoid vendor lock in, avoid license fees, and participate in software development. Freedom from vendors also allowed libraries to prioritize needs according to urgency, as opposed to what the vendor can offer. Libraries which have moved to open source ILS have found that vendors are now more likely to provide quality service in order to continue a partnership since they no longer have the power of owning the ILS software and tying down libraries to strict contracts. This has been the case with the SCLENDS Consortium. Following the success of Evergreen for the Georgia Pines Library Consortium, the South Carolina State Library along with some local public libraries formed the SCLENDS Consortium in order to share resources and to take advantage of the open source nature of the Evergreen ILS to meet the specific needs. By October 2011, just two years after SCLENDS began operations, 13 public library systems across 15 counties had already joined the consortium. In addition to the South Carolina State Library, Library Technology, Org does an annual survey of over 2,400 libraries and noted in 2008 2% of those surveyed used open source ILS. In 2009 the number increased to 8%, in 2010 12%, and in 2011 11% of the libraries polled had adopted open source ILSs. The following year's survey reported an increase to 14%, stating that open source ILS products, including Evergreen and Coa, continue to represent a significant portion of industry activity. Of the 794 contracts reported in the public and academic arena, 113, or 14%, were for support services for these open source systems. 2010's present, the rise of cloud-based solutions. The use of cloud-based library management systems has increased drastically since the rise of cloud technology started. Some common management systems include Insignia Software, Libramatic, OCLC WorldShare Alma, Aura Software and Librarica. Many modern cloud-based solutions allow automated cataloging by scanning a book's ISBN. This technology was pioneered by Libramatic, although it is currently in use by systems such as Insignia Software and Librarica. 